Hi there, I'm Andrew Voigt and I'm making this video for uh, game designers and publishers to help them keep up testing patterns during everything that's going on with coronavirus. I want to show you how to create and test your games in Tabletop Simulator. Uh, and so this first one, we're just going to dive into how to make a game, how to import a board and cards, and how to save it. So let's jump in. Uh, looking at the home page of Tabletop Simulator, go ahead and select Create. Choose Single Player. And go ahead and close the Games menu. Because we're creating a new game, we don't need to select an existing one. Uh, begin by choosing your table. Go to Objects select Tables, and select the shape that's right for you. Now that you have your table selected, we can go ahead and add some components. Select Objects, Components, and then choose the type of component we're going to add. In this case, we're doing custom stuff, so we'll choose the custom option. But as you can see, we have plenty of options for other already existing pieces. Going in the custom, let's start with a board. For a custom board, all you're going to need to add is the image. You can either add the image URL in the box or select the file to browse local files and select one. Uh, go ahead and choose whether you want to store games uh, on the Steam cloud or local to your drive. Uh, if you want to play this with somebody at another location, in other words, over the internet, uh, you're going to want to choose Cloud. Uh, choose the folder and file name and choose Upload. Go ahead and click Import to complete the process and you'll see your image appear on the board. This is a board for a game design of mine called Snow Day the Cold War. Note that we start off with it... Note that we start off with it hovering above the table a little bit. Uh, that's because the asset is locked, meaning it won't move. So you can either right click the asset and go to toggles to unlock it, or you can tap the L key. You can resize it with minus and plus, and you can rotate it by grabbing it with your uh, left click on your mouse and spinning your mouse wheel. Uh, now go ahead and place the board where you want on your table, and you can move on to the next asset. That next asset for us is going to be a set of character cards. We're going to upload them as a deck of cards. So in the custom menu, select deck. Now we have to add a face URL and a back URL. We're going to use a single image for all the fronts in our deck and a single image for all the backs in our deck. Here's an example of the front we'll be using. And so my file has the fronts of all my cards laid out in order from left to right. You don't need all the extra black space here. This is just a result of the program I use to generate these image files. But you can put them together in Photoshop or GIMP like you would anywhere else. Just have all the faces laid next to each other in order. And then you're going to have a similar image for the backs if all the backs are unique as well. I use component.studio to host my images, so I need the URL for that front image, and I'll paste that in the face box. All my cards in this deck have unique backs, so be sure to check that box, and then add the URL for the back. Now again, if you have these files locally instead, you can choose to browse local files. My width is how many cards appear from left to right. In this case, it's 10. And the height is from top to bottom. I'm not using all the spaces, but I have it spaced out so that I could fit seven from top to bottom. Then I select the number of cards I have on that image. Uh, in this case, it's 13. They are oriented sideways, so I'll enable that. And I don't need the backs to be hidden, so I'll leave that unchecked. Select Import, and Component Studio will generate that set of cards.
Once you have all your components imported to Component Studio, and you have everything laid out on the table as you like, so you do the full regular setup, uh, you can go ahead and save it. Choose Games, Save and Load, and go ahead and type the name you want to save. In this case, Learn Tabletop. Learnt Tabletop, apparently. And there you have it saved. So if you head out back to the main menu, you can go ahead and create a game in either single or multiplayer. And then down here in the save and load section, you'll see that game you created. In this case, Learnt Tabletop. I'll load it. Then have other people join your lobby and anyone else in this lobby will be able to play the game with you. And that's all for now. Uh, I'm Andrew Voigt. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please send me a message or leave them below. I really think Tabletop Simulator is a great tool for people to be using when they can't test locally. Uh, and if you want to find out more information about myself, you can find me on Facebook uh, as uh, Andrew Voigt Design. Uh, and if you're trying out Tabletop Simulator, let me know what you're getting stuck with or what you need to know. Thank you very much for watching my video. Um, please be intentional about saying clean and safe in this time. Uh, and I really hope that this tool can help you out test your games when you're unable to meet in person.